Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and welcome to this new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In this video, we are going to make the flashlight work so that we first will have to find it and pick it up, and only after that we can equip it like this. And if we drop it and we try to press F, we cannot use it as you can see says you don't have a flashlight and also when we have it in our inventory and it is in use and we uh, drop it it will first unequip it and after a little delay it will drop it so yeah let's get started so first we want to go to the interactable folder and to the pickups and we want to duplicate the base item and we want to rename it to be flash light now let's open it and let's go to the viewport and here we have all these interaction things under the item we want to select these and move them under the default scene route now let's select the item and now we can change the mesh to be the flashlight okay and also let's make this lock locked and let's change the scale to one okay but now we have some missing materials so we will have to change this element zero back to the black metal uh, zero zero one and also let's rotate it uh, 90 degrees on the y-axis like this now we can select all these interaction things again and move them under the item again okay and then the item id we want to change this to be a flash light interaction text let's change it also to be flashlight simple as that and amount we can actually make this not instance editable nor expose on spawn because we don't want to change those okay compile save and now we can close this and we can already move it to the level so let's actually delete this base item from here let's get the flashlight to here and let's move it a little bit upward so it doesn't clip through the box and let's actually try it with this key because i think it's clipping i will actually quickly try if they are correctly on the cube the flashlight is but the key is not there is a little problem with the interaction icon so let's actually fix that so let's open the flashlight again and here on the viewport on the interaction icon we want to reset this location like that save close and now when we play it should be correct yes okay let's continue so what we want to do next is we want to go to the data tables and we want to open the items dt and here we want to add a new row and we want to rename this row to be flashlight now the item id will also be flashlight and name override we don't have to put anything here if you want to call it something else on the inventory than flashlight then you can change this to something but i don't want the icon let's search for a flashlight icon that we created a few episodes back and um, max stack size is one and description what would that be you can put here whatever you want i will uh, maybe like old flashlight but you can write whatever you want here okay mesh let's search for a flashlight again flashlight static mesh class will be the <laughs> flashlight the actor that we just created and we don't have to touch these item actions at least for now now let's save all and we can actually close this items items dt also now we want to go to the components and we want to open the bpc inventory and here in the bpc inventory what we want to do is we want to create a new function that will be called check 
if item exist. And now we want to add a, an input with, which will be called item ID and it will be type name. Now what we have to do, we want we have to get our content array and from here we want to get a for each loop with break like this. Then we want to split this array element and we want to get from the array element item ID and we want to check if it's equal to uh, this item ID. So let's get from the second pin and let's search for an item ID. It will get this input like this. And from here, we want to add a branch. So be a left click from the loop body. And let's actually move this a little bit further down so it looks a little bit better. Like here, yeah. And now, if the item ID is same as the array element item ID, then what we want to do is we want to first add a sequence so we can actually break the loop. So then zero, let's connect that to the break and let's add a few reroutes and put it here. So it will stop the array for from looping. And then one, here we actually want to create a local variable which will be called item exist and it will be type boolean. We want to just set it to be true. Because if we if the item ID is same as here, then we want to set the item exist to true because it will be on the inventory. And from the completed, what we want to do, we want to just get a return node and we want to add a an output which will be called uh, it doesn't matter, let's call it exist. And it will be type boolean. And here we just have to connect the item exist boolean variable. So if it if the that doesn't match with this item ID, it will not set this to true. It will be false. Okay, and if it finds, it will set this to true and cut the uh, break the loop. Okay, simple as that. Now we want to just select input or return node, and we want to make this pure like this. Then we have to compile, and let's actually save all. Now we have to go to the third person map and to the blueprints, and we want to open the BB player character. And here in the BB player character, first let's actually close everything else than the event graph and also the viewport. And let's create a new function. I will actually, yeah. Our first function will be called has plus light. Okay. And here we want to just get just get the PPC inventory, and from here we want to check if item exists, the function that we just created. Uh, the item ID will be the flashlight. And now let's click from our input and let's add a an output. Let's connect this exist to here and let's rename this output to be like return. It doesn't matter what it's called. So it will check if we have a flashlight. And now also let's make this per here function, let's compile. Now, on the event graph, we want to find our, here, our input action flashlight. And what we have to do here now is, we actually want to move everything after the branch a little bit further right, maybe like this. And also let's move this a little bit further, this branch, because we want to add something to here. So can do action, let's get from this and end boolean. So we want to check if we can do action and also if we have a flashlight like this. And let's connect back to here like that. And if both of those are true, then we can continue. Now also what we want to do, we want to add here a custom event so we can call this without pressing the key. This will be called uh, equip slash uh, on equip flashlight, and then we can just connect this to here, like that. 
Okay, and here from the false, we want to get our HUD ref under here, and we want to set on screen message the function that we have created. Uh, connect to the false. Let's actually align this. The message will be you don't have a flashlight. Okay, so it will tell you that you don't have a flashlight, so you cannot equip it. So, yeah, and the next thing, we'll have to create one more function, and that will be called unequip. And for now, this will basically just be, we will only call the equip unequip flashlight. But later on, when we have more equipable items, we will add more code to here. But I just want to create this for now, so it's easier, it's easier to do later. So we don't have to change that much of the code, you know. So let's compile, let's actually save all. Now we have to go to the third person map and to the HUD folder. And from the HUD folder, we want to go to the W inventory slot here. And let's go to the graph. And here on the graph, what we want to do, we want to find our drop function or event or whatever. Let's select everything else than the uh, event itself. Let's move it further to maybe like, maybe like here. Now here, we want to add a branch. And we want to create a little function. And this function will be called check how to check blah, 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 check if in use and this will also be pure and here we just want to check if the item id let's put it here is equal to Flashlight, we will change also this later. And now, end boolean, let's put it here. And now we want to get our W inventory ref, let's get it under the input. From here, we want to get the play ref, and from here, we want to get the flashlight in use variable. Now, let's actually move this a little bit closer, like this, and let's connect this to here. So, if our this item is equal to flashlight, and our flashlight is in use, then what we want to do is we have to add an output. Let's move it to here. Let's call this just return or whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's connect this to here and make sure it's here. Compile, save, and now back to the event graph. Here on the drop, what we have to do is from the false, we can actually connect back to here. And let's move this a little bit further down. And also let's add a little bit more space here. And maybe like this, yeah. So from the false, we want to connect there. And of course, we will need this check if in use to the condition. If it's not in use, it will do the same as before. But if it is, what we want to do, we want to get our W inventory ref. And from here, we want to get our play ref again. And from the play ref, we want to call the unequip function. This one. Like this. Uh, maybe a little bit further down here. And after that, we want to call a little delay of like 0.5 seconds and connect back to here. So it will unequip the flashlight. Wait. 0.5 seconds, and after that, just drop the item. So let's compile, let's save all, let's go to the third person map, and let's play. Let's see if everything works. So let's pick up the flashlight. Actually, let's first try. If you don't have a flashlight, we cannot equip it. Let's pick this up. Let's open the inventory. Actually, we don't want to open the inventory, but yeah, let's try to equip it. Now we can. Okay. And if we have it in use, and we try to drop it, it will unequip it, and after that it will drop it. So yeah, I think everything is working like it's supposed to work. So yeah, 
That was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one.